Hey guys, I'm gonna give you a run through on one of our favorite scan tools here at PDE, the Top Don Phoenix Max. So when you get the Phoenix Max, it's also gonna come with your oscilloscope kit. And if you choose to get it with the heavy duty truck adapter kit, you're also gonna receive your set of truck adapters. So unboxing the main case, you've got your docking station and the Phoenix Max tablet itself. Up the top, we've got your MCDI communication box, a set of OBD1 adapter cables, and on the other side, you've got your charging cables, Ethernet cable, and your main OBD cable. If you opt for the truck adapter kit, you're going to receive 13 heavy-duty OBD truck adapter cables, which include Iveco, Reno, Cat, Volvo, and Isuzu. Coming to the main menu on the Phoenix Max, we've got 35 maintenance functions found in the service menu. Under module, we've got the ability to add on your battery tester, oscilloscope, TPMS and TC001 thermal camera. Under library, you've got the ability to integrate your automotive applications such as Haynes Pro, All Data, Mitchell One, and Auto Data. So you just need to add your login and you can easily access it through the library on the tool. On the main menu, if we hit scan, we've got the ability to manually select a make and model of vehicle. So we can either use the search bar or we can go through and select by region. So American, European, Asian, Chinese. We've also got EV in there. Now that is an additional software package. We've also got our heavy duty brands. And then we also have the option at the right at the end for pin detection. Now that's really handy if you're not sure if the tool is actually communicating with your OBD port. So we can see here all the different heavy duty brands that the tool does cover. It is quite comprehensive compared to other tools on the market. And I think that's why they're so popular is because they do cover a range of commercial trucks, trailers, buses, vans, pickup trucks, agricultural equipment, material handling equipment, and off-highway equipment. To name a few of the common brands that this tool does cover, we've got Mercedes, Case, Deutz, Freightliner, Fuso, Hitachi, Isuzu, Iveco, John Deere, Kenworth, Komatsu, Mac, Mercury, Peterbilt, Renault, Scania, Hino, UD, Volvo, Volvo Penta, Western Star, and so much more as we can see here. Now, if we can't find the brand we're looking for under vehicle brand, up the top, we can actually switch over to engine or by ECU. So under here, we'll find Caterpillar, Cummings, Detroit, Max Force, Pekka, and all these other brands listed here. And then if we can't find it in there, we jump over to ECU. And then we can select the ECU directly, a few of the most common ones, Allison, Bendix, Bosch, Cummins, and Eaton, plus all the others you can see here. Down the left-hand side, it's broken up by category. So we've got an option for machinery, bus, truck, and then all, or we can use the search bar. The Phoenix Max has an inbuilt vehicle coverage checker. So the way that we use it is we find the brand we wanna check against. For example, I'm going to pick Mercedes. We hit vehicle coverage on the left-hand side. Make sure your tool is connected to the internet. Now from here, we're going to select our make, model, and year. Now I'm just going to pick a random one for an example. We can also narrow down the information displayed by picking the system that we want to check against. So for example, engine, airbag, TCM. And then we can narrow it down again by function, but I'm just going to load up an example here for you. So I'm just gonna pick engine control module. Now this is gonna bring up a complete list of everything this tool can do on this particular vehicle under the ECU. Now there's 58 rows of data, so I'm just gonna quickly sift through it with you. It's a really convenient feature to have. Say for example, you wanna book a job in, but you're not sure if the tool will be able to do that job or not. Well, you can come in here and check before you book it in.
To narrow down the search even more, you can then select by live data, active tests, module information, or special functions. Now, to show you the tool in action, first off, I'm gonna plug it into a 2011 Holden Commodore. We plug the OBD cable into the MDCI box and it will come up that it's ready for diagnostics. So we can do an automatic VIN search or we can manually select the vehicle. In this case, I'm gonna manually select the vehicle. Now the machine will connect with the MDCI box via Bluetooth and it will let you know once it's connected and communicating. Once we're in, it brings up your topology mapping and we're going to hit smart scan. Smart scan will just run through every available control module, tell us whether it's equipped or not and if there's any fault codes. Once the scan is done, we've got a few different options. So we can go directly into the control module by selecting it. It's going to give us an overview of the fault code. From there, we can actually go further into it by selecting the engine in this case. It's going to bring up a whole bunch of module information. We just hit OK. Now from here, we can read the code. We can view live data. We can do actuation tests and we've got special functions. So we've got a fault here for the mass airflow sensor. I'm just going to clear DTCs from this page. So I've cleared the code and it has not come back. So I'm gonna go back and then we're gonna go into actuation tests. Now the options we see available in here are gonna be different for every make and model of vehicle. So these are the actuation tests available for this specific car. Your car will be different. Under special functions, we've only got one, which is reset engine oil life. Again, as per make and model, your options will be different. Instead of viewing it by topology mapping, we can select system list up the top, and this is just gonna bring up a list of all the control modules in the vehicle, and we can enter them directly that way. So if I go directly into the brake control module, it's gonna give me the module information. Now from here, I'm gonna go into actuation tests. Now these are all the tests available for this control module on this specific vehicle. Now I'm going to go out and into special functions and that'll bring up the special functions for the brake control module. Now back to our list, I'm going to jump into the BCM and actuation test. So these are all the tests available for the BCM. So if I hit horn relay test, we've got the ability in here to turn it off and on. <laughs> Now, if we go back into special functions, we've got the ability in here to program a new key to this vehicle or do the brake pedal position loan. Now I'm gonna go into the HVAC system. Under actuation test, these are all the different tests we can perform. And under special functions, we have the ability to do a calibration on the HVAC system. Coming back to the engine control module, I'm gonna go into the data stream option. Now, these are all the different options of data streams we can see. Going into engine data should give us pretty much all the information available from the ECU, as we can see here. Now, these are all specific for this make and model of vehicle. Your vehicle may look a little bit different. So I've fired it up to show you the live data in action. So I'm just gonna hit select all.
for my next trick, I'm going to plug into this really nice and clean 2016 Ford Ranger and show you what the tool can do with that. On the Ranger, I'm going to use the automatic VIN function so the tool knows exactly what vehicle we're dealing with here. From this menu, quick access will take us directly into a control module, but I'll hit scan and we'll do a full system scan first. Now, as we can see from the menu here, our options are a little bit different from the Commodore. So at the top, we've got system list, special functions, common functions, module programming, and our ADAS. So again, I've hit smart scan. We're just going to run through all the control modules and get a better picture of what's going on. Now, once the scan's done, you've got the option to clear all DTCs from the bottom, but I'm going to go directly into this control module and actually read what they are. Then from here, we can clear any DTCs. So we're currently in the front controls interface module, and here's a list of the active tests that are available for this vehicle. And here we have your special functions. So as we can see, we can actually program this control module in if we were to replace it. Now I'm going to jump into the PCM, which is the powertrain control module. Then from here, actuation test. So these are all the actuation tests that are available on this vehicle. Now I'm going to go into special functions. Now these are all the special functions available on the ECU. And again, we have programmable module installation, which means we can actually replace the ECU on this vehicle if we need to with this tool. Now, coming back to our topology screen, we can tab over to system list and view the modules this way. And also go directly into special functions. Now we've got the four main systems. I'm going to jump into body. And then we have different options under chassis. So braking, we can do an ABS bleed under here if we need to. So under electrical, you can do things like your trailer tow configuration. So you can configure the BCM and let it know you've fitted a tow bar. So under powertrain, we can do a power balance test. And these are a few of the special functions available. Now I'm going to tab along again to common functions. So these are a few of the common functions that are available on this Ford Ranger. And here under module programming, it's going to bring up all the control modules that are available to be programmed on this vehicle. And then coming across to our last option, which is ADAS. The ADAS frame and targets are optional extras and you can find listings for them on our website. I'm just going to jump into the ABS module. And then actuation test. So here we can see all the actuation tests available on the ABS. And these are all of our options under special functions. So overall, it is a very comprehensive tool and there's not much you can't do with it. Now, coming back to our add-ons for the Top Don Phoenix Max, the most popular one would be our T Ninja Box. Now, this bad boy here really opens up our options in terms of key programming, especially on European vehicles. We can read and write EEPROM data and we can also clone engine and transmission control modules on certain vehicles. Now, moving over to our Top Don battery stabilizer. Now, this is essential if you're doing any ECU work, any programming work, you must have a battery stabilizer. We've got the Top Don Bluetooth battery tester, which I'll run through in a minute. We've got your ADAS frame and targets, not set up, obviously. I'll give you a run through on the Bluetooth battery tester. So we need to jump into module and select battery tester. Coming out to the workshop, I've got the battery tester hooked up to a battery on the bench. On the tablet, we're going to select battery test, make sure we've got all of our battery specs in there, and then we're going to hit next. 
Now in here, if we want to make a report, we can put all the vehicle details in for our report, but I'm just going to hit skip and this will take us directly to the battery test results. So as we can see, it's a good battery, 100% state of charge and 100% health. We can then print or share the report by email or Bluetooth. And last but not least, our favorite function, remote support. So when you buy through us, you get our remote support. If you're having dramas with a vehicle or with the tool, you can easily give us a call, jump in here. It's gonna generate an ID. You read that out to us. We jump on our end and this is what it looks like for us. So we can see your screen. We can remotely control your tool and better assist you that way. It's just great peace of mind knowing that if you ever have an issue, you've got great technical support that you can rely on. Now, if you do want to find out more about the Top Don Phoenix Max, head over to our website.